is Carol Dixon Carr, and I am owner of Managing Personal Resources, Inc. in Dallas. And I'm also a principal with B Fields with the Business Pulse Program. So what I was going to do originally is talk to you a little bit more in depth about the technology and audio and how you can actually create your content. But that's going to have to wait because, as I mentioned in the podcast and in the blog, this felt a little more compelling for me. I had a serendipitous moment. I had already read, I want to say Monday, an article in the Wall Street Journal about Del Monte doing something really cool with focus groups, a really inexpensive focus group. And I wanted to talk about that first because I'm also working on a survey and all that market research, all those tools made me think about my business minor, which was marketing, but I didn't use it much because at the time I didn't think it had much to do with entrepreneurship. It was targeted towards um, students who were going to go on and work for a marketing firm. And that's not what I did. I went on to work for um, research type firms that involved the social sciences or I was in academia or, or the government. So it didn't really apply. But I do remember focus groups. And I remember that they could be, they can be expensive. And really, there are only about six to 10 participants generally. And they usually meet at a restaurant. And I mean, there are a number of things that go into conducting a focus group. And if you're really curious, you can ask me a little bit more about that if you email me, carol at managingpersonalresources.com. But my point is, the fact that I read that article at the same time I was creating my own survey, not a focus group, because I I am in the process of creating quantitative, quantitative data. And focus groups do a lot of good stuff with qualitative getting qualitative data, descriptive data that from their consumers finding out what they want. And Del Monte actually did something just like that. So what did Del Monte do is the question. They created a private networking site and called it I Love My Dog. And I think it's really cool. I Love My Dog had 400 private handpicked members. What a huge focus group. And cheap, 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 cheap. It's more less expensive to do that than to do the traditional focus group that you usually read about in marketing textbooks and so forth and that you see at the marketing firms. So I thought that was pure genius. And I think that Coca-Cola and ABC Disney Studios did the same thing. They jumped on the same bandwagon. So it's not just for... When you see the the social networks being worked out, a lot of solopreneurs are out there, but now the giants are out there doing the same thing. And then on the flip side, we've got my survey that I'm working on now for, and it's a broader survey. It's for businesses ranging from the aspiring entrepreneur all the way to people in business who've been in business for at least 10 years. So it runs a big, big spectrum, and I'm going to my statistical analysis that's my training from uh, getting the economics degree and see what kind of results we get there and anybody who fills out the survey gets a report and there are some other incentives involved as well if you go to bizpulse2008.com and read the blog entry from the 17th of january it'll tell you how to get there and it'll only take you five minutes to fill out okay so back to the survey i think you can grab a lot of good qualitative data from doing a focus group. You can get a lot of good quantitative data from doing a survey. And the corporations, the big corporations, all the way down to the solo premier actually use SurveyMonkey. And SurveyMonkey.com is where you would go to do that. I used a different tool, but SurveyMonkey is very easy to use. And it's free as well. So we've got two things working for us. Private, private site for your handpicked members that, you, that you're that you targeting, and then also you can create a survey. So what I'd like to know is if you know what your clients want or your prospect wants. In fact, a couple days ago, I met with a banker who was having some challenges converting. And so I suggested that he reach out to his target market with one type of survey. And the other survey would be for the people that he actually courted but lost to find out what happened there. So two different surveys. So I'm hoping he'll take my advice, and I'm hoping you'll do the same. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email, carol at managingpersonalresources.com, and don't forget to visit bizpulse2008.com. 
Thank you.